against NRG. Uh, for those uh, who are joining us remotely, please use the Zoom hand raise function to ask a question and then we will call on you. Uh, it looks like Michael Zar has the first question. Michael, are you there? Yep. Uh, yeah, this first question will be for Fettino. Uh Obviously, uh, NRG picked Lotus first and had a rough start uh, thanks to your great performance on Raise. Uh, how comfortable are you and your team on this new map in Valorant? I think there is a new, uh, I think we are pretty confident. Uh, the, th the new the thing is when you play a new map, like the teams need to explore and play the best way for them. So we like a structure and we have a plan and we follow it and it works. Uh, we'll go next to the question in the room. Hello. Uh, Hello. Uh, my name is Igor Oliver, it's for sports.gg. It would be for Rhyme. Uh, so basically, man, this is the first tournament that you guys played with a stand in and a six player. And I would like to know if that changed anything in the in the trainings, in the preparation for the tournaments. Um, we haven't played with any stand in. I'm not sure if you maybe have mistaken the wrong team, but we, we this is our lineup. All right. Yeah, this is our lineup. So yeah, it's uh, we are, we, do, we don't have a stand in. I mean, he sits there. <laughs> That's our substitute if we need it, but we didn't use him. So uh, yeah. this is our lineup. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, we'll go next to Diogo from VLR. Uh, hey, this question is for Fitinho. Uh, you had a really good first map. You had 20 kills in the first half and 35 across the whole map. Um, I'm just looking to know if there was anything in particular that you think contributed to that, that success. No, I just play super confident. I know that we are, we have, like I say, the, um, like I say, the, like we have the game plan. We did it and I was performing, but anyone in my team can perform like that. Uh, we'll go next to Michael Zar from Upcomer. Mike, did you have another question? Uh, yeah, this one's for Nukia. Um, obviously, you mentioned uh, you mentioned before in an interview that you think teams with strong IGLs, you know, like for example FNS and Energy, that can improvise will be really good in this tournament. Uh, now that you face them, how do you guys think you uh, did against a top team like that? I mean, we still played good. It's just like the, also the veto was a bit kind of we picked the wrong map, but it's fine. I just feel that we're still good. We took a map of them, then they got momentum a bit on the overtime, and then it transferred over into Haven. And Haven was just a snowball from the first round. So overall, I don't think we played bad. It's just that they got a lot of momentum in the game, and that was the outcome of the game. Diogo, did you have another question? Yes, yeah, I've got one more. Um, this is for Hoodie. Um, after you guys got... A uh, loss 13-1 on Haven. How how was the confidence looking like going into Icebox? I mean, you try your best to reset, but it shouldn't matter, but it, it does matter a little bit. Even no matter who you are, it always affects a little, but you try to not think it's a new best of one. That's our mentality, at least. So for us, I, didn't, I don't think it mattered that much. Thank you. Uh, any more questions, either from the remote media or the online media or the in-person media? Uh, let's go to Nicholas Rocha. Uh, Nick, we can't hear you. Your mic might be muted on your side. If you'd like to type out the question, that's also acceptable. Okay, can you hear me? Yes. Um, okay, my question is for Fitinho. Can I ask? Can I ask you in Spanish? Yes. Yes. Um, no, nada, Fitinho. Eh, eh, primero mostrarte el apoyo acá desde Colombia. Un saludo muy especial. Y preguntarte si sientes que hubo algún factor externo que a lo mejor eh, los cambió como equipo durante el Haven después de haber mostrado Eh, mucho nivel en el Lotus eh, no, no lo creo creo que eh, hemos perdido la bonus eso hizo un poco lo que dijo antes Nuki un poco de ese snowball y empezaron a luego ganar la siguiente ronda de armas no tenemos dinero, hicimos eco eh, jugaron también, ellos jugaron mucho también al post plan con los mollies, el aftershock de bridge eh, al principio no nos lo esperamos tanto Intentamos adaptarnos, le salían bien las rondas y creo que fue todo más el momentum. No creo que haya habido ningún factor externo. Thank you. 
Are there any more questions? It looks like we have one from Sage. Uh, hi, my question is for Coach uh, Pipson. Uh, I just wanted to ask your stance on Icebox with the Chamber meta changes. Do you feel like there's going to be a possible shift in, I guess, mid play on Ice Pack, Icebox moving forward and how people would play uh, that map with these new changes? Uh, can you repeat this with which changes? Yeah, sure. I just want to ask you, like, after the Chamber, chamber meta changes, I want to ask you if you feel. I guess in practice, if there's going to be any changes in how teams approach Icebox moving forward, do you feel like there's a change when you played against Energy? I don't think that there is a big change. You can see that everyone is still playing the full utility comps and they're just trying to to stop the bomb plant on B with the Molotovs. And the same goes on A, that you pop off the Viper wall and you are just trying to go for kills. Uh, the only thing is that uh, some teams are going to try to utilize jet like we did and some teams are going to try to utilize non-jet comps uh, which is uh, like energy did so it gives them more utility to to control the space as an example Kayo who had an additional molotov and knife uh, but in reality there is uh, I don't think that the removing chamber somehow affects the icebox meet overall or how the icebox will be played We'll go next to uh, Rohan from esports.gg. Hello, guys. Uh, today, obviously, NRG picked Lotus. And so far, we've seen it's usually the team that's an underdog that usually picks Lotus. Uh, you guys obviously won, but did them picking Lotus upset your idea of the map veto in any way? What was the question? Uh, this question, it? yeah, this question could go to the coach Pipson or probably Ryan. You want to answer it or should I? So, you can. Uh, okay. I mean, we plan to pick Lotus. And then they picked it, so it didn't really surprise us. We wanted to play the map, um, so it didn't change anything. I think maybe it came a little bit as a surprise. I don't, I don't think we uh, uh, expected them to pick it. So um, the second map was like, uh, okay, what do we pick now? Because our plan was to pick Lotus and for them to pick another map uh, that wasn't played at all. Yeah, but anyway, there would be a Lotus. In this yeah, yeah, it will be uh, Lotus anyways. <clears throat> Thank you. Last call for questions from the remote media. Okay, Giants, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us. This will conclude the first press conference after this match. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.
Hello, everyone. We are joined by NRG, who are coming off of their victory against Giants. Uh, please use the Zoom hand raise function if you'd like to ask a question, and then we will call on you. It looks like Brandon from esports.gg will be our first question. Brandon, go ahead. Thank you. Congratulations on the win. Uh, we'll send this to FNS. We've kind of heard this narrative from Optic to, to now with NRG, but you guys kind of having a slow start. You know, you picked Lotus as your map, didn't go out correct for you guys, and then you know, came back swinging on Haven and Icebox. I just kind of want to hear your thoughts on that narrative. You know, if it's true, just a coincidence, kind of why it might happen, whatever you've got on that. I mean, it's definitely true. I mean, it's happened enough times to where, like, it's not a coincidence, but it's definitely something we're trying to work on. It takes experience and it takes time, especially with two new players coming in as well. Uh, poor artists has to, and Sam have to deal with us starting slow every time, but uh, we're working on it. We'll do the best that we can going forward. Uh, we'll go next to Diogo from VLR. Hey, uh, I've got a question for um, Given that Lotus is a new map, uh, what motivates picking a map like that in a dual just like this one? You broke up. Who was that question for? Oh, FNS. Sorry. Uh, what makes us pick Lotus? Was that the question? Yes. Uh, I mean, we have a lot of practice on it. We definitely wanted to test it out and kind of see like where we're at in terms of level. This is the perfect tournament to do that as well. Uh, we wanted to test our comp. We wanted to see how good they were as well and what counters it. So we obviously will go back to the drawing board and figure out exactly what went wrong. Um, but yeah, I think it's a good tournament to try to implement Lotus and especially just so other teams see that we can play it and, you know, try to pick it. Um, we'll go next to Diogo from BLR. Uh, this question is for Som. Um, so you guys had a bit of a slow start, but then you got, you got two really strong wins uh, on the last two maps. So how, how are you feeling about your next match? Um, for our next match, um, I, I'd say we're pretty, pretty excited to whoever we play. Um, and I think we're ready to play whoever. Okay, we'll go to uh, Sons of KS next. Thank you very much. And uh, my question is for Ardis. <clears throat> The last time we spoke, you were on FPPX, but now you are an RRG. How, how's the adaptation going? And how much do you like this VCT tournament format? Um, the adaptation's going quite well. Uh, the team's super similar to FPX. That we play have like similar style, we anti stress a lot. We just super, overall, just super similar. Even the jokes there are super similar. And uh, what was the last question, Tony? And the last question was, is, uh, how much do you like this BCT tournament format? Yeah, I, don't, I don't like it at all, but it's Rai's decision, so I will respect it. Thank you very much, and God bless you, dude. God bless you all. I was wondering if that one was going to come back. <laughs> uh, let's go to Brandon at esports.gg. Yeah, uh, we'll ask this one to, um, to Chet. Uh, you know, you got a lot of teams that uh, are kind of brand new in this tournament. Uh, but up next, you could very well face Loud if they pull it out. You know, world champions, big rivalry last year. Just kind of like to know your thoughts on their new players and what you think of that team as a whole now with the changes that were made. Um, honestly, I'm not too familiar with their players right now because I haven't really watched their matches since we've been practicing a lot. But I guess when I review it, I'm just going to treat it as the same as last year. Just gonna see what they do and then try to make a game plan around it. I'm not gonna treat it any differently just because it's loud. We'll go to Arnab next. Hi, uh, guys. Congratulations, first of all. Uh, my question is for Chet. Uh, looking at aggressive style of artists, did you think putting him on KJ on Lotus was it a viable option? Um, yeah, I mean, we picked up artists knowing that he can play a lot of agents, so we're just using that flexibility to our advantage. He doesn't have to only play an aggressive character. Thank you. Uh, Nicholas next, you're up. Hi, guys, GG. Uh, this is for Crashes. Um, what would you say was the key to this victory? Um, I would say our game plan was like really strong for us. Chat and FNS made it our lives as players super easy. Um, yeah, I mean, I would just give all credit to Chat and FNS. It was super easy to follow and yeah everything was you know well thought out we'll go to uh sage next 
Uh, hi, my question is for Chet, and I just wanted to just get your take on Icebox. I, I just want to see if you feel like, do you feel like the chamber changes add some more variety to how the map can be played? And if the answer is no, what do you feel like can fix that so that there is more variety on Icebox? Um, well, as you can see, we're kind of running the same comp from January of last year. So I don't think there's a lot of variety with or without chamber. I think the map is just badly designed, like specifically A, and until they make changes to that, you're not going to see that much variety just because the way the defense is, is just too hard to defend without like KO and Viper. Are there any more questions for NRG? Oh, for, we'll go to the in-house question. Hi, everyone. I am Gabriel from Global Brazil. I have two questions for FNS. Uh, firstly, I would like to know your thoughts on Loud because they may be your next opponents. Um, so how difficult will it be to face them here in Brazil? Uh, what are your expectations? Uh, we expect to win. Um, but as far as just playing them and how I feel about it, I'm really excited because it's just a re an old rivalry kind of reignited as well. Um, but alongside that is going to be an insane crowd, which I'm really excited for. Even they're rooting, even if they're rooting against us, it's still going to be fun to play in a crowd and the, you know the stage vibrating basically. And I think the place is going to be pretty sold out. So we have yet to play a match like that here, where you know the whole every the whole place is crowded. So it's, that's going to be fun. It's going to be a good experience for us. And yeah, I'm excited. Do you have any concern about the crowd? Do you think it may influence your game anyhow? I don't think so. I think we've been to enough tournaments with enough crowds to where it's not going to affect us. But I mean, if somebody throws something at me or something, then yeah, <laughs> you know, but in general, no. Thank you. I believe that was the last question of the press conference. NRG, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.